This is going to be a quick little short video on adding a new uh, product to your FBA inventory page on the spreadsheet. I uh, usually just go down to the bottom on Mac numbers. You just have to click this little button here and I'll add a new row. You can also, uh, <coughs> excuse me, right click and do add a row above. You can actually insert it anywhere. Um, what I do is after I put my FBA item listed in FBA, I usually just do a copy and then do a uh, paste and match style. Otherwise, if you just copy it from Amazon's uh, Seller Central, it'll be a larger font. I'm just anal that way. And then go here and click your down arrow and click mine as a book. You click the category you're in and the date you purchased it. Um, I'm going to put a uh, I'm actually going to just put one, just one, and then to the 15. It's a used book. I got it at a garage sale. If you already have something up here and you start the first few letters, it should go ahead and populate for you. If not, just go ahead and retype it. And then the cost I paid for the item was $1. I'm selling the book for $34.95. And this may change because down the road you may lower the price or raise the price. It's up to you if you want to keep it up to date. And then I have one of these books. So it will tell me, you know, the total cost of goods I have so far in an FBA and the total potential sales based on these numbers here. That's all there is to it. eBay, we'll go over to eBay inventory. It's basically the same thing. Um... You just don't have the categories, uh, FBA categories here, but it's basically the same thing. And that's all there is. Let me go back one more step. Since you have the categories, after you add a few items here, what I do in Mac numbers is click sort and filter, highlight in the table, and I have it sort by category, and then sort by, uh, that's not right, it should be sort by yeah, totals, which is actually doing it this column here. So I'll sort by product, um, then I hit sort now, and then it goes ahead and does it. It's now up here in the books. So that way when I go back to try to find the item, after I sold the item, I can easily, somewhat easily find it and then do a copy and paste. But that will be another video. So that's it for adding your items into inventory. Have any questions, you can ask in the comments or send me an email through the website, whatever you wish to do. Thanks.